Minion system in Diablo 4 and Last Epoch feel pretty different. One is a Zerg swarming the map, while the other one is more of a suicide squad. I am a one button build enjoyer. The more buttons I have to press, the greater the chance of me dying. So in this Diablo 4 season, I decided to go for a pure minion build, even though it was ranked as one of the worst of this season. Upon reaching level 70-ish, I went back to last epoch to know the differences of how these two ARPGs handle the same type of playstyle. There are two rules I followed in both of these builds. One, play the character as a full support role that buffs and debuffs while minions do all the work. And two, use as few buttons as possible. Also to note, I'm not going to be comparing minion builds to other builds in the respective games. For example, how minion build performs versus sorcerer firewall build. But want to make the comparison on how the same or similar system is handled in two different games and go over a couple of things I think would be nice to see in Diablo 4 when it comes to this system. Leveling in Diablo 4 from 1 to 50 was a bit rough. Since I went full focus on minions right from the start, the clear speed suffered greatly. It felt like I could not rely fully on minions, so I had to spec a bit into Blood Mist Corpse Explosion aspect and Bone Storm Ultimate to kinda complement the damage and to have some traversal and protection. At one point, I experimented with Blight, but that just turned out to be too much work for a full-on lazy minion build, as you have to maintain your essence and you actually have to aim the skill. So eventually, I settled for all minion skills, Blood Mist, Bone Storm, and two curse skills that would act as buffs slash debuffs. The build felt pretty sluggish until I reached level 50. This is when Paragon Points kicked in, which allowed to fully focus on upgrading minion damage, resists, health, etc. From this point on, relying on minion damage was possible, and it did not feel that slow that I had to use other damage skills to complement it. That is, until I reached higher tier Nightmare Dungeons and started interacting with larger groups of elites. In this case, minion damage again fell a bit short, so I had to again complement it with damage skills. One positive I'd have to point out for Diablo 4 minions is that at no point did I have to worry about maintaining them. After Blizzard's nerfs post-launch and in Season 1, minions became too much maintenance since they just died all the time, however, that is no longer the case. So to sum it up, the minion experience in D4 went a little bit something like this. Started off slowly, ramped up a bit, and then died off at high tier dungeons. On the other hand, Last Epoch makes this experience a bit different. Leveling with minions here felt a bit better, meaning it was faster, it did not require me to cast some supporting skills until the build came fully online, and it did not require special gear with just the right affixes to make the build enjoyable. Again, my build was pretty much summons plus a traversal skill for some safety. I had to worry about minion survivability early on, but once I got a couple of nodes in skill specialization, it was no longer a problem. Also, I did not have to use other skills to help out with the damage at any point. Damage done by minions was enough to keep me going. So, when I say that the build felt enjoyable, I mean that when you traverse the map, especially end games when running echoes, it felt like a zerg of creatures just warming the place and devouring everything in front of it. It might also be because of the sheer number of minions you can have compared to Diablo 4, but either way, I think Last Epoch nailed the Locust Swarm experience just right. To conclude this one up, let's go over those things I think would be nice to see in D4's minion system. First, minion UI. I don't think icons next to your resource or a small green bar above your skill button are a good enough indicator for minion count, health or status effects. Having them clearly set on top of the screen, like it's the case in Last Epoch and PoE, brings much more clarity into the state of your minions. Right now, if you want to know your minion's HP, you look at the center of your screen. If you want to know your minion count, you look at the bottom right next to your resource bar. And if you want to know if your minions are buff, you only get that info for one buff above minion summon skill button. Second thing I would like to see in Diablo 4 is minion control. It is not a secret that minions in a lot of games can become a bit questionable. In Diablo 4, this comes in two ways. One, minions attack random targets, and two, minions don't attack objects. I have noticed that in a lot of cases, minions just do their own thing. They target whatever they want, and it's even more annoying when they just split into groups. On the other hand, they don't attack barricades and other ground objects, at least not right away, until they figure it out. What's funny about this one is that sometimes during a boss fight, they will attack boss spawn barricades rather than the boss itself. Last Epoch also has this issue to some degree, but it's somewhat mitigated by having minion focus button. You click a button, minions move and attack the thing you clicked. 
Third improvement, minion diversity. And this one comes in two forms. First, the obvious one is that it would be nice to have some more types of minions rather than just skeletons, skeletal mages, and a golem. Last Epoch has a bit more diverse setup with skeletons, which consists of warriors and archers, skeletal mages, golems, wraiths, zombies, abomination, etc. You could argue that skeletons, golems, and mages are pretty much the same as in Diablo 4, where you have three types of each. But the thing with Last Epoch is that you can specialize and develop those types of minions way more than in Diablo 4. For example, skeleton warriors can specialize into rogues, mages into death knights, golem into pyre or chill golem, wraiths into flame wraiths, and so on. Which leads me to the second part of minion diversity improvement. How you can use minions and how much you can modify them. One really cool thing I like from last epoch is that minions are not just things that you summon to fight alongside you until they die. There's a mechanic that lets you special summon different types of minions in different conditions. For example, Summon Spectral if you drop below 50% HP, or summon a Fire Minion if you use a Potion. The second one brings about an interesting dynamic where you can now farm gear that lets you maximize the number of potions you can carry, which then increases the number of minions you can summon. Think of sacrificing Mage Minions in Diablo 4, but then having a legendary aspect that says summon two Mage Minions for 30 seconds if crowd control. Lastly, minion summon methods. I think needing corpses to summon minions is just a nuisance, especially when fighting bosses. I like corpse mechanic for other skills, but I think minion summons should just cost primary resource. I think difference of minion system in these two games comes down to different approaches. One game enables minions as the main source of damage and the centerpiece of the build, while the other game kinda wants you to combine minions with other sources of damage. 